Hello ladies and gentlemen, Marauder X here with another indie box unboxing video and I, I actually left this in the full box because you know it just got here. So let's look at this box shall we? We're gonna open it up. I got a knife. That's not a knife. Oh the, the knife. Knife. Anyway, this is December's indie box. And what they've started doing is they've started doing indie box challenges as well as just a little cardboard thing but uh they give you a little how to enter challenge card so like this one's like we'd have to uh download the official Am armello blank burn card template uh from the following link design your own inner creative warrior animal to design design a card basically and then submit it and then they they pick a winner and uh two entries will be chosen based on their enthusiasm overall quality humor charm quirkiness either way show us what you got um, and if you win, you get a custom hoodie for this one. So, yay free stuff. So, let's see. We got the box. This is Armello. And trying to get it to where it's not going to be glary, but it's got the... It's got the uh, reflections. Now, I had not heard of this game at all. And that's the thing about indie box. Like, most of these games, I'm not, I, I never hear of them. Until Indie Box shows up with them. So, uh, this game apparently is a kind of a Settlers of Catan card board game style thing uh, mixed with some like tactical RPG elements. Uh, I've been told it's like a Game of Thrones card game, but everything is animal based. So all of the characters that you, like, all the little factions you deal with, like, you, there's a bear, there's a, a weasel ferret, a wolf, a rabbit, you know. Give a nice good shot of of that. And uh, let's open it up, shall we? And see what we get in this uh, collector's edition. Because, again, I have no idea. All right. Something cloth related. Go ahead and just put a lot of stuff in here. And, uh, just. Alright, so the box is now empty. Let's see what we've got. Ooh! Okay, well, starting off, we've got the game on its custom USB card. So that's. That's a thing. Uh, we've got an Armello collector's pin. That's. That's classy right there. We've got. Something else. <laughs> That's the thing. I don't know what this. I guess it's a patch. I think it's a patch. Yeah, it's a patch. It's like a arm arm patch for one of the. One of the groups. Yeah, I'm trying to get it without the glare. Yeah, it's a little little crest patch. That's that's nice. We've got a soundtrack. Soundtracks are very common with these. I like it. I'm a fan of that. And always we got some. Any box stickers. Any box Armello. So you know things like that. We got our full color instruction manual. I'm actually a big fan of the full color instruction manuals. Like that, that is, it's just, it's classy, you know? It's something that I miss from the old days of gaming. It's just, and it gives, you know, it's got little pictures done in like, uh, old school art style for, uh, like illuminated texts and things like that uh, as, as the, the the tutorial pictures to show you what they're trying to talk about and then we have two oh three three little hologram cards for like in the game and it's kind of hard to see but like you can see they uh, there's some movement to them so there's the blacksmith a vile official who's a pig. Let's see, a little change in. And then an evil eye. And you see the evil eye blinking. See, that's. I'm glad. I hope the video effect kicked in. So let's, let's see what is. This is issue 14. What's in the box? The collector's edition box. Uh, visuals from Armello. Let's see. Uh, USB cartridge, 
instruction manual, indie box stickers, uh, Armello soundtrack, lenticular burn cards. That's what the these are, I guess. Lenticular burn cards. I did not know that that was what they would be called. Um, clan banner patch. Now you can represent Clan Wolf. Uh, Amar uh, Armello lapel pin. Armello cloth poster. So that's what this is. This is a cloth poster. Um, let's see if I can unveil it. Because it, it's, it seems kind of big. So I'm not sure I'll be able to get all of it on camera. Yeah, it's kind of big. There we go. Oh no, that's that's just half of it. Holy crap. I'm like, what the hell? Yeah, that's... That's that's big and fancy, and that's actually kind of nice. Kind of. So that's that's that one. So we got the clown poster, and then the sticker, and then the newsletter. So yeah, that's everything in the box. I'm yeah, I, yeah. I'm really interested to play the game. I've watched some gameplay footage of it because once Indie Box announced what it was, I'm like I again, I don't know half of these games, so I started looking up information on them. And I saw a couple of people playing, uh, doing like let's plays of it, and it looks interesting. It looks like a game that I'd, I'd be right up my alley because I love like CCG type things. So this is going to be a lot of fun. So yeah, this is this month month's indie box. This is the December box, end of the year. Uh, also note, this is uh, about the indie box service itself. So they are raising their prices in January. They've announced that they're going to do. Uh, price raise because they want to do more to it. So they they have said if you lock in your rate before January. So if you sign up before January, there's the the cutoff time for whatever the next month's box would be. Uh, you have to go to the site to check it out. Uh, if you sign up for it before then, you'll be locked into that price. So that's the current price that I'm at, which is basically the the 25 a month, give or take, plus shipping and handling. Um, they have not said how much they are going to increase it by in January. Uh, they ha have said they want to do more to it. The, they were really impressed with the Axiom Verge box and the reception from that because the statue. So they, they want to do bigger and better. Uh, depending on how much it costs, I mean, uh, my rate is going to be locked in as long as I, you know, can keep it this way. And that's part of the problem that also is frustrating is that if there's a problem with payment, like my first month after I ordered it, there was a problem with payment because it has a pro it had a problem with my card and so it took it off of an active membership uh, until that got sorted out. So if that's the case, then if you have like a hiccup like that, you might lose your rate. Uh, I mean, I'd assume that the India Box people would be very accommodating for that, but I'm, I'm just looking at all the, the possible negatives of, you know, having a, a service like this and changing your rates. Uh, I'm a I'm little hesitant on that. Uh, I'm going to keep it for as long as I can, but if, if something were to happen like that, there's a, there's a good possibility I probably wouldn't pay the extra depending on how much extra it is. And that's the thing, it's like it, I liked the service because it's, you know, it's pretty comparable to other like monthly box services and you get some really good stuff with it. And what they've said they want to do is, you know, make bigger and better collector's editions. And that's one of the things that I really like about the way it currently is, is this is the collector's box. This is, this is like a limited edition game box. Like, I don't, I hate, I hate, hate, hate collector's edition boxes that are randomly large, like the Xenoblade Chronicles X box that's, you know, like super thin, super wide. There's no way it's ever going to fit on a game shelf. You've got to find a special place for it. The, even the Kingdom Hearts uh, 1 2.5 collector's edition that's like a giant box that's got a plush in it. And that's one of the things that they, they said they want to do is like plush things. So it's like if it's too big to actually fit on a shelf, like with other box games, that's uh, it takes a lot of the fun out of it for me. So I'm, I'm going to wait and see what they do. I just want to express my con concerns in case they see it and you know that sort of thing. Uh, yeah, and again, it's all gonna depend. Like, if it's just a couple of dollars here, and like that's, but if they raise it by, yeah, it's anything more than like five bucks per tier, I'd I'd probably be 
a little uh, a little hesitant because that's that's about where I'm at because I got this to replace Loot Crate because Loot Crate has a lot of interesting stuff in it but only really one or two things that I would like to put on display everything else just kind of gets delegated somewhere else so it's like eh, what are we going to do with you know half the stuff that we don't care about whereas games I put them on my shelves I take them out I look at them I play them and I look at all the cool stuff that comes with them so yeah um We'll see how it goes. But if it is a service you are interested in, as of right now, go check it out. Sign up for it. That way, if you are interested in it uh, and, and you do like what you've seen, you can get it at the current rate. You don't have to worry about the, the rate increase as of yet. Uh, and hopefully, if any like weird shenanigans pop up and you know the, the account changes because of uh, a payment issue and the the indie box people would be very supportive and you know making sure you keep the rate you had when you signed up for it um but again it's it is it's a thing so uh yeah i'm gonna go i'll have uh gameplay footage of this as soon as i can i gotta install the game and you know take a little bit of time to learn how to play it so uh, i'll get this up as soon as i can and i will see you in the part two of the gameplay footage so uh till then later everyone